Good morning boys, hope you're keeping well. So today we're going to be starting with a very simple thing, uh, very straightforward. We're going to be looking at weight, uh, our first lesson in weight. So very simply, what all we're going to be looking to do is to name different measuring instruments uh, and identify which one we should use to measure the weight of different items. So we have different measuring instruments, you might be able to think of some off the top of your head. So if you're baking or you're in the kitchen, you might use a kitchen um, scales to measure out different quantities of items. You might use a bathroom scales if you're looking after your weight, uh, like myself every morning. Uh, and Or you might be more old fashioned and use a, a balance type thing or a spring balance if you're in a shop and you're weighing out vegetables or things like that. So we're going to look at them now. Okay, so we have different instruments and measurements here. We have the bathroom scales on the left. That's what you'd stand up on. Uh, kitchen scales, so you can see there it has a dial on it and they, and it points to the weight that you have and it has a bowl on top of it. Third thing we have is a spring balance and how that works boys is you hang it from something and the amount the spring is pulled down on when you hang something from it, it gives you the weight. Uh, the balance would be harder to use boys because whatever you put in one side you have to balance it with weights on the other. And the weigh bridge on the right there boys, it's kind of hard to see but there's a truck there and the weigh bridge would be used for measuring massive, massive weights. So things like trucks, okay? Very simple basic facts to start with. We have a thousand grams in a kilogram. That's why it's called kilo. Kilo is another word for a thousand, boys. So a thousand grams in one kilogram. Or you might see it on packaging, like on a bag of sugar, as one kg, okay? Um, so if you held in your hand a bag of sugar, you'd know that that would be equal to one kg, okay? When we go up again, we see a thousand kilograms, so a thousand bags of sugar is equal to one ton, okay? And um, you can write that in short as one, just a big T, okay? And for an example, what a ton might be would be a small car, okay? So what we're going to ask you to do very simply today, boys, is just to look at the different uh, items here, like a jockey weighing in before a race, weighing greens for brown bread, lorry after making a delivery, and we say, what instrument do you think we would use to measure that item? Okay, so bathroom scales is kind of for measuring people, and you find in your bathroom. Kitchen scales would be used for measuring food uh, at home in your kitchen. A spring balance would kind of be used in a shop. A balance, boys, you don't really see it used uh, anymore. The only place you might see it used is in like an old market or something. And the weighbridge would be for trucks. So what I'd like you to do today, boys, is just decide what instrument in this column you would use to measure these items would it be a bathroom scales a kitchen scales or whatever and then on this side do you think we'd use grams or kilograms so if something is small and below a kg or below a bag of sugar you would use grams if you think it's the same weight as a bag of sugar or even heavier than a bag of sugar then you'd put in kilograms okay so what instrument would you use in this column and then would you use grams or kilograms in this column? It's very straightforward today, boys, okay? Uh, so work in the copy. I want to see a nice table with three columns, 12 rows. Uh, neat work as always. Well done in your work so far. Keep it up and upload a photo of your work when you're done, okay? Have a great day, boys.